about the choice that I made with this orchid. What is the name of this orchid? It used to be a Coleman or a wildcat. Now it is an Onstostylus, okay? Onstostylus. Oh, no. That's it, right? It is, yes, it is in the Oncidium family. Okay? And what you're going to do is while they are in bloom, you're not going to give them as much light or as much heat because they'll go out of bloom faster. Okay. And then you're going to take and cut the bloom spikes off down here, mm -hmm. here and here. Okay? And then you're going to put them in a place that gets more sunlight. Okay. 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 When they get in a vegetative Like state. maybe the afternoon light. Okay. But you're only gonna water it whenever it gets Dolly Parton. Like how we just did? Yes. Okay, guys, she gave me a demonstration of how the pot should feel. She told me to stop filling the top of the pot. She said go um, about how the pot feel. And she gave me an example of a wet pot, a damp pot, and a dry pot. So we will get to that in time, Fab Pals. Any more information that you wanna share, Miss Sheila? Just it's in a sphagnum moss, which means you're not going to have to water it as often. Mm -hmm. So you make sure it's almost dry before you water it. And when you water it, make sure you thoroughly water it. And only feed it plant fertilizer, either 20, 20, 20, or your alternate 30, 10, 10, alternate waterings. What about Camiga Epsom salts? That'll work too. Okay. But, it's, but, but, but you I'm going to get there. Food, okay. I'm going to get it. All right. Have you heard of Dino Epsom, Blues? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They good? It's okay. Okay. But it's I like, don't, to me, stuff like that is like salt substitute. Okay. Okay. You know I how salt substitute like just don't give you the salt taste. Okay. Okay. okay so if you're going to feed it, feed it. Okay. 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 Well, all right, Fab Pals, thank you so much for tuning in. Can I hear Miss Sheila say Orchids for Dummies? Orchids for Dummies 101. Thank Until you. next time. Okay, Fab Pals, welcome back to Orchids for Dummies. This is my Fab Pal Mark. He's been growing all of these orchids for how many years? 50, 50 years. He said 50. Yes, he is older than 50 years, people. But this is the orchid that I chose to buy. And of course, he's going to be so kind to give me some basic information about it and how to make sure that it thrives. Yeah, sure. So this is a, a Paphiopetalum is the genus. They come from Southeast Asia. It's a hybrid, so it mixes several together. And it took them a century to get them this dark. So this is going to mm. open to an almost black purple flower. Yes. These are pretty low light orchids. They will grow in fluorescent light even. Oh, and I have that uh, a range as well. of light. They can take brighter, but they don't want hot, direct sun on them ever. Uh, the they also don't like to dry out, so they should be watered frequently enough that they don't sit dry for any period of time. And every couple years, they let new mix at their roots. But they're pretty easy. They're better in the house because they don't have strong, tough leaves, you know, to withstand the weather outside. And, you know, you definitely don't want something chewing these leaves up on you, right. <laughs> making a mess out of them, because they are absolutely beautiful even when it's not in flower. Now, Fab Pal Mark, I go to bed with the air set on 70. Is that too cold for it? No, mm -mm. no. See, these can take anything the... from about 50 or 55 up to 90 or 95. See, guys, I'm thinking that these are going to be a little bit more less temperamental than my average fail. So we are going to try. We are going to learn together. And Fab Pal Mark, I really appreciate you. And this is his car, everybody. If you want to reach out to him. Until next time. Okay, Fab Pals, welcome to Orchids for Dummies. And this is going to be my first orchid haul from my first boring orchid haul. I mean, Orchid, Alabama Orchid Show, it was so boring, but they did have a couple of orchids that I thought I had to take home with me so you guys would be able to enjoy it with me. Now, like I said, this orchid's for dummy, so let's go. All of these orchids I decided to get because, you know, I'm a Phalaenopsis fanatic, first and foremost. But after speaking to Rick Hill and a lot of the people that's there, they said that these are actually so much easier to grow. Well, and why you ain't buy me one? Uh, yes, why you ain't buy me now if it's so easy to grow? You got $35. Uh-uh, you got it for me. No, I that's don't. That's what sons are supposed to do. No, you just had a birthday. I've you been ain't buy me now for, for my birthday. 
Okay, Fab Pass, this is the... That's a pretty one. Let me have that one. No, ma'am. It's something about some wildcat golden red star. Watch the fan. And I don't know what it is Hold to it be down, honest. Because you, that fan going to clip it, then you're going to be upset. I am. But it has the pseudobulbs, and it has the same air roots, but they're a little bit different than the phalaenopsis. But we, and the leaves are different. Everything is different. But we will show you. I will show you a better close up of these blooms um, soon, darling. But let's get to the rest well, of. Don't put that on the cake, Cole. Cole, cake. Okay. It's for the cake. But yeah, that's it with that one, honey. That's it with that one. Well, why you ain't get it for me? I just told you. Can't you tell half of it off and give me half? Uh -huh. You ain't gonna do no repotting, so you can give me no, one I'm up. Not. I'm not doing no more repotting. Ain't no more repotting. No, ain't no doing. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> You'll be calling me tomorrow. <laughs> no, I want to I need. I paid too much money. I need some blooms in my house. I'm not repotting at all. And I got me my mini. I got a mini. Oh yeah, that's a real small. Okay, let me have that one. Nope. Well, this is a mini phalaenopsis. Okay. She's in bloom, and guys, I've had great success with growing these in my bathroom. I will show you later, darling. So this says um, a phalaenopsis ping long Neptune, whatever that means. And last but not least, the showstopper. No, give me my blue. The showstopper was going to be in the on my coffee stand, where people is going to be like, "Oh my God, what that?" It's going to be this beauty. What is that? I'm gonna have to show you guys a picture of what it's going to look like, but it is a. A marble, no, a pedophilium Hong Shang Bay time. Sound like Chinese stuff. Honey, baby, they be talking about witchcraft and hocus pocus. Oh, out, you need to get that like that. That's what I'm saying. I don't even want to say this stuff. And it is a pedophilium um, Hong Shang Bay by Hong Sing Ruby. Like my mama said, um, it's some, um, some ch okay, look like witchcraft. I don't know what kind of stuff, but I have to show you guys a picture of it. It's going to be, a, um, it's going to grow, it's going to bloom and be all. No, we was inside. Oh. <laughs>